Hi everyone, so the second day of PTR is over and today I've been trying out more solo stuff, especially the Firebird Wizard and also the Ratma Necromancer, which is the one I want to show you here. So there are some different setups for this. There is like a bone spirit focused setups, there's army of the dead focused setups, there's even like hybrids. And the one you're seeing here is entirely army of the dead. So this is like an AOE build. And you don't really have to do this like crazy movement, aiming with bone spirits and, you know, timing it and stuff. But basically you just need to reset the cooldown as fast as possible. So the way that it works is that with your minions, you get a reset of um, one second on the cooldown for every swing. And uh, you can essentially get your army to that out every two to five seconds or something like that with good cooldown values. And well, you can be permanently invincible. So there's the passive Ratna Shield, which gives you four seconds of invulnerability. So this is the second way of becoming invincible on the Necromancer, apart from the Captain Crimson and Land of the Dead Invigoration combo. And uh, this works really well. So you just need to be a bit careful, you need to get the rotation down. I just did like, I don't know, two or three runs here, so nothing crazy. I didn't fish for anything. I was not playing it optimally and I was still doing pretty good damage. In some cases, I was like obliterating elites in like one or two convention rotations on tier 140. So the damage is very good. And also, yeah, well, you don't take any damage. So obviously, I believe that this has to be fixed. And I believe this will be fixed because yeah, before it wasn't really such an issue because Army of the Dead was kind of dead. And now it's like the main DPS skill here and you cast it every few seconds. It's just too much. So maybe they can shorten the time of invincibility or they can just uh, maybe remove unmuted entirely from this passive. I don't know about what to do, but something will probably change here. But for now we have this setup here, which has already cleared 150 solo on quite high paragon on PTR. And my setup here that you're seeing is uh, simulating something like a paragon 2.5k character with augments. So decent gear, 2.5k, uh, nothing super crazy. And I was running through a 140 with no problem. Uh, didn't even have like much of a good conduit or anything. I was not playing it optimally. So even myself, I could do easily up to 145 with this already. And potentially with you know, much more fishing, uh, even go close to 150. So it's definitely quite strong. The damage comes from the combination of the Ratma set, the Naya's Black Death with five poison skills. So everything is poison besides your uh, command skeletons, which has the Frenzy Rune. And then you have Fate's Wow as a helm in the armor slot in the cube. And you combine this with like the typical stuff like Crispin, Convention, Squirts, and even because you're invincible, you can actually run Squirts here. And uh, well, it's a skill that does 50,000% weapon damage by default. You cast that every two seconds, so that alone is, you know, a much higher number than basically any other skill in the game. And it just comes out like really, really strong in the end. For your rotation, you need to make sure that you keep up your nice black death. So you have to press every button besides command skeleton once every COE cycle. This means you want to try to revive one corpse. You want to uh, cast at least one skeletal mage. You want to uh, use the bone armor dislocation, uh, especially right at the start of poison so you can get the two second stun for Crispin. And then obviously the armor of the dead. Command skeletons, you just press every time it's not active. And the mages, you try to spam spawn sometime during like the middle of physical convention. And then uh, you get faster resets and you also get a higher multiplier from the Ratma sets because each additional uh, skeletal mage will give you another damage boost. And in total, you can get up to like 50, 60% more DPS when you have 10 mages out. So this is pretty neat. And this is basically how you combine all this and you get also faster resets by having these mages out. So it kind of like goes together really well. So that's about it for the setup here. This is the currently strongest solo version on Necro, uh, capable of 150 solo while being completely invincible. And well, I'll probably also try it without Batman Shield at some point, maybe tomorrow, because I already expect that this will get nerfed in some way. Maybe not the damage, but definitely the survivability will suffer in some way. And uh, we have to be prepared for that. So we'll see. And uh, I just want to leave with this here. Hope you liked this video. And I'll see you guys next time.